Hi Libra, welcome to your 2021 January career and money reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra. It is, of course, a collective reading. You guys take what resonates, Libra doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you guys like my content, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. We're growing every single day, and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. As always, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can go ahead and do so on the website. I will link below. Thank you to everyone who booked a 2021 reading. You guys love them. Thank you so, so much. And thank you to anyone who booked any sort of reading with me over the past year. It truly means the world. Thank you very much. All right, Libra. Let's get into your January 2021 reading. Libra. No, I feel like there's one more in there. All right, good stuff. Emperor. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Magician. Hmm. All right. Some of you are getting new business partners. All right. Some of you may also, if it's not a business partner, some of you are looking for a mentor. Right? Somebody who's very... Um, very good at what they do, very financially stable, knows their, like, knows business. You know what I mean? So some of you are entering a partnership with a mentor. Some of you are starting a new business partnership. You know, Libra, for you, there's going to be lots of stuff coming in, lots of opportunities. And I feel like almost to the point where you get overwhelmed and you need to start chunking down your priorities here. But here's the thing. You're a master manifester, particularly this month. Like this conjunction that just happened here on the 21st of uh, December kickstarted. Uh, like it kickstarted something in you and you're able to manifest very, very easily. So when you put out for this, you know, what you're looking for. It could be a partnership even with like a new bank for a loan or something of that nature. It's like when you put out for what you want, it falls into place very, very easily this month. Don't let that overwhelm you or distract you because that's going to inhibit this, okay? Trust yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um... You've worked hard the last year, right? You've got some good foundations being built here. Lots of stability. Don't let yourself burn yourself out. Don't forget to rest, okay? Like 2020 was a pretty rough year, but it looks good for you, right? So just allow yourself a little bit of recoup time for January. You know, think about what you want to bring in. Who is this mentor? Or maybe you're the mentor to somebody else. Okay. And just just rest. Just rest, rest, rest. There's going to be more exciting things coming down the pipe for you. But for January, this is about your, this is your rest period. Okay. Because you may get very busy again soon. People are going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to you. You're going to be quite successful this year, but you need to learn the art of um, saying no. You like to kind of give everybody a chance, Libra, you know, everyone equal um, attention. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. So you need to learn how to get discerning. 
and have the strength to say no. Because like I said, you're charismatic, you're smart. People want what you have, right? Like I said, you're going to be almost overwhelmed by all the opportunities, but you can't do them all. <laughs> so you're going to have to learn the art of saying no. But there's lots of celebrations. Like I said, coming down the pipeline, you're going to be busy. You're going to be successful this year, but you have to learn to be discerning. You have to remember to give yourself as much time as you give others. Otherwise, you're going to burn yourself out and it's all going to be a moot point. Okay, so make sure you're resting. Mm -hmm. New year, new beginning, lots of new opportunities. It's like you've learned the art of communication. You've learned how to tell people things. People are drawn to you. You've, you've, you've got that communication where people are like, oh, you know, for some of you, if you haven't, um, like, I feel like for some of you, you're really going to ramp up your social media and people, you're going to get lots of followers, right? Yeah, successful. The sun shines upon you, Libra. Like, things look good, but you need, again, to give yourself time. There it is. And have the art of saying no. Obligation is not a good look on you. Okay? Don't do things out of obligation. You're just tying yourself to things that are holding you back. So we need to break this pattern. And again, learn that art of discernment. And learn to put yourself first. And people will be, I'm sorry, Libra, people are going to be disappointed by that. But you are the star of your own life. You know, you don't have to be a dick about it. But you do need to learn the art of saying no. Because you're going to, like I said, you're going to be so busy. That you need to give yourself rest time. You can, like, you can manifest so easy. Right? Lots of celebrations, lots of stuff, lots of, you know, growth, abundance around you. Tons of opportunities. But, I mean, you got to take control here. Lots of success, right? Lots of good partnerships on the way that you're manifesting here. Lots of celebrations with the Three of Cups. Just watch this, okay? So rest up because you are going to have a very busy 2021. All right, so rest up for the month of January and figure out what is it that you want to manifest this year because it's going to come pretty easy for you. All right, Libra, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best in 2021 and we will talk to you on the next video. Bye.